My mother was boy crazy with all those husbands. I like that you made this point because sometimes I don't think about the things that my mother was actually doing as an adult person and then painting me as there being something wrong with me when I was just a little girl. So by 11 years old within my entire family, and it started way earlier than that, I can remember around the age of six being thought of as boy crazy. And my mother, when I was around the age of nine, started calling me a tramp in damaged goods and telling me that everybody knew that I was a tramp in damaged goods. I didn't know what a tramp meant. I knew it wasn't good. And I knew it had a relationship to boys because of the context of the comment. She knew I was being molested and she was blaming me for it. But here's my mother as an adult person. And at this point, you know, she's been married five times. She has a boyfriend now. Um, she's never without a man for any period of time. I don't ever remember her being without a man or pursuing a man. And in some ways, that's actually not her fault. I'm going to cut her a little slack because my grandmother defined her daughter's by how successful their husbands were. So that made my mother even more desperate to find a successful husband and keep him. But while she was husband hunting, she was running through them pretty quickly. I mean, after my stepfather passed away, and I believe that was at her hands, uh, there's a dad's tab that talks about that. She was married within four months, but I'm the boy crazy one. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's go with that narrative.